Hi friends, welcome to my channel Excellent Ideas in Education. Today we are going to solve this engineering dynamics problem. This is very important problem. A block of weight 1600 Newton. You see this drawing, this block weight is 1600 Newton. It is in contact with the place inclined 30 degree to horizontal. You see the horizontal line, this inclination angle is 30 degree. A force P parallel to the plane. You see the force P is given as parallel to the plane. And acting of the plane mu is equal to 0 0.2. Mu is coefficient of friction is 0 0.2. Find what we need to find in this case. First point, the value of P to just cause the motion. Cause means move the motion. Second point, the value of P to prevent motion. Stop the motion. Third point, the magnitude and direction of frictional force. First, we will draw free body diagram to solve this problem. Draw the line. Draw the line. Normal reaction always perpendicular to the plane. So, perpendicular to the plane. This is R. The self weight 1600 acts towards the center of the block in downward direction. This is 1600 Newton. Is given is this is 30 degree. So how we will take this angle? I'll show you. You see this drawing. This is 30. This angle is 90 degree. Sum of all sides of a triangle is 180 degree. 180 minus 30 minus 90. So 180 minus 30 plus 90 is 120 degree equal to 60 degree. So, this angle is 60. So, this is 60 means you can draw the line, extend the line. This is 60 means this is also 60 degree. This is perpendicular. So, this is 60 means this is remaining is 30. This is 30 means this angle is 30 degree. So, this angle is 30 degree. Or is perpendicular to the plane. Don't resolve the forces in normal reaction. We will resolve the forces in this block weight. So, how we will resolve these forces? You see the block weight comes down. So, it comes down is the arrow comes this side. This arrow comes down. So, angle side we will take it as cos. What cos? 1600 cos 30 degree. I will draw it here. This is the weight. So, this is 30 Weight is 1600. So, angle side it comes cos. So, 1600 cos 30 degree. Other side is sin. 1600 sin 30 degree. So, this side is 1600 sin 30 degree. Now, we will solve the problem. First, the value of P to just cause the motion or Move the motion. Motion is moving this side. So, motion is moving this side means the frictional force acts this side. Motion goes this side means opposite sign only comes friction. Now, what we will do? Resolving the forces vertically. Vertical means summation of f of y is equal to 0. You see the graph. This is x, this is y. y is vertical side, x is horizontal side. So, we will see the vertical side in this drawing. So, vertical side you see r is the vertical, the arrow goes up. Though arrow goes up is, we will take positive. So, up is r. You see this one, this is y axis. It comes down, arrow comes down. So, minus 1600 cos 30 degrees equal to 0. R is equal to 1600 cos 30 degree. R is equal to 1385.64 Newton. Next, what we will need to find? P only we need to find. Resolving the forces horizontally. Horizontal means summation of F of X is equal to 0. This side goes positive. So, we will see X axis only. So, x-axis means this f is x, opposite side. So, minus f. You see this one is this side. 
there goes this side. So this also minus minus 1600 sine 30 degree. Force P also we will draw. Force P it comes this side. You see this is also X goes this side. This side is plus plus P is equal to 0. F what is F? F is frictional force right. What is the frictional force formula? Force F is equal to mu R. Coefficient of friction into R. So we will write coefficient of friction is given as 0 0.2 minus 0 0.2 into what is R value? 1385.64 minus 1600 into sine 30 is 800 plus P is equal to 0. Minus 0 0.2 into 1385.64 is 277.128 minus 800 plus P is equal to 0. What is P value? P is equal to 1077.128 Newton. Now we got P value. Cos the motion P is 1077.128 Newton. Now we will solve second question. To prevent the motion. Prevent the to prevent the motion. So how we will prevent this one? Now we will draw free body diagram. Daughter line. Weight always in downward direction. Center of the block in downward direction. So this weight is 1600 Newton. This angle we know 30 degree. This is also 30 degree. This is the P force. Here is reaction force. Now we will prevent the motion. Prevent the motion means where it goes the motion. Motion goes this side. So friction goes this side. You see the previous cause the motion means move the motion. Move the motion means the friction comes this side. Motion goes this side. Move the motion. Now we will prevent the motion. Prevent the motion means motion comes this side. Friction goes this side. Resolving the forces vertically. We know the graph, this one, this is x-axis, y-axis. Y-axis is vertical. So vertical, this side, we will take it as positive. Arrow goes up is positive. Summation of f of y is equal to 0. Now, we will take the inclined force in this. This is the weight. This is 30 degree. This is 1600. 1600 cos 30 degree. Here is 1600 sine 30 degree. Now we will calculate the forces vertically. You see vertical means y axis. Y axis this is r. We will write it as r. Down. Down you see the arrow comes this side. So opposite side is minus 1600 cos 30 degrees is equal to 0. R is equal to 1600 cos 30 degree. R is equal to 1385.64 Newton. Now, we will calculate P value. So, resolving the forces horizontally. Horizontally means this is the horizontal positive. Horizontal is x-axis. So, summation of f of x is equal to 0. You see the x-axis P. The arrow goes this side. P is positive. P. After that, you see the arrow goes this side. Opposite side is minus. Minus 1600 sine 30 degree. After that, you see f. f is goes upside. Upside is, you see, the arrow goes. This side is positive. So, positive. So, plus f is equal to 0. Frictional force F is mu into R. P minus 1600 sine 30 is minus 800 plus 0.2 into R. R is 1385.64. P is equal to 800 minus 277.128. P is equal to 522.872 Newton. Now, this P value we got 522.872 Newton. This P value we got 1077.128 Newton. Now we will calculate third point. 
so magnitude and direction of frictional force magnitude and direction of frictional force is magnitude of frictional force first we will take magnitude of frictional force what is the magnitude of frictional force formula f is equal to mu into r f is equal to mu is 0.2 r value we calculated 1385.64 newton for cause the motion and prevent the motion also same so f is equal to 277.128 newton what is the direction of frictional force of frictional forces acts in the opposite direction of applied force applied force is what is the applied force applied force is p since p acting up up the incline the frictional force force will act down the incline this is the answer it acts in the opposite direction of applied force p since p acting up the incline the frictional force will act down the incline thanks for watching this video